Hello and welcome to this video about morning motivation. Before I start, I would like to thank Tropicana for sponsoring this video. They've only gone and created a new whole fruit juice which is both delicious and nutritious and can help you get off to a good start in the morning. More of that in a minute, but for now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I hate mornings. And I find it very difficult to get motivated, which as someone who is entirely responsible for her own schedule and workload and therefore income, isn't ideal. So I have had to figure out ways to get myself up and motivated in the morning and I have compiled a little list of my top 10 ways to start my day, which I'm gonna share with you lucky duckies right now. First up, right in there at number one, the answer to most of life's problems, really, stay off your phone. And look, I'm not judging, I'm honestly not, we all do it. The first thing we do as soon as we wake up is we check our texts and our emails, maybe look at the news, we go on social media, see how last night's post is doing, and before we know it, an hour's gone by and we're still just sort of idly scrolling on our phones. It's a lot for your sleepy little brain to take in before it's even had time to wake up, particularly if you're replying and interacting and engaging, so, I would just suggest staying off your phone completely until you are ready to get to work. Number two, routine. Just try going to bed and getting up at the same time every day. It really does help with your circadian rhythm, which is essentially the thing that gets messed up when you have jet lag and why you feel so bad. It's a sort of internal clock that helps regulate all sorts of stuff like hormone production, digestion, and your sleep-wake cycle. So basically, by doing the same routine every single day, you can kind of program your brain to know when to get sleepy and when to get Wakey. Three, further to that, you should open the curtains and let some daylight in, or even better yet, get yourself out in the sunshine as soon as possible after you wake up. I find that music can really impact my mood, and there's nothing like a big old load of upbeat bangers <laughs> to get you happy and energized in the morning. Make a playlist of your own. Lots of songs that put a smile on your face. In at number five is breakfast. I know you've been hearing it your whole life, but breakfast is important and it's not difficult. I literally just have cereal or whole grain toast, scrambled eggs, they take like five minutes max and they're super easy. If I'm feeling fancy, I might make myself an omelette. Ooh. And if I'm on the go, I'll just get like yogurt and granola or a piece of fruit. And this is where our good friends over at Tropicana come in because their whole fruit juice makes breakfast a whole lot better. Just came up with that by myself. Tropicana's whole fruit is the new way to drink juice. It tastes great with a velvety rich texture and it has 50% more fiber than smoothies and juices on average. So we've established it's super tasty, but also super convenient. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh, I just want to pop him in my pocket and take him everywhere I go. <laughs> this 150 ml portion contains, wait for it, one of your five a day. As well as the orange, it comes in apple flavor. So get some of that into you with the super healthy breakfast you're definitely going to have, aren't you? All righty, number six, easy peasy exercise. Now, that does not mean you need to hit the gym hard first thing in the morning. Look, if you can, great, well done you. But even if all you can do is get out for a walk or do some gentle stretching, it's just about getting your body moving, you know, getting the old juices flowing. Number seven is meditation, and this sort of ties in with number six. The benefits of meditation are still being explored and researched, but it has been scientifically proven to help reduce the symptoms of anxiety, stress, and even PTSD. So definitely worth doing if you suffer from any of those things. It can also increase your self-awareness and mindfulness. It can help improve your self-image and even lengthen your attention span. Number eight, sort yourself out, yeah? And what do I mean by that? Well, <laughs> working from home particularly, I do find that it's very easy to stay in what I like to call troll mode for the whole day. So basically what you want to do is shower, brush your teeth, moisturize, make your bed, get dressed. You know, it doesn't have to be real world outside clothes. It can be pajamas. Just maybe have day pajamas and night pajamas <laughs> so you can swap between them so you're not in the same clothes all the time. It genuinely does help me to make myself feel like a human. Nine, very quick one before you start, make a to-do list. Then, when you've done the things, tick them off. <laughs> I promise it's very satisfying. And it doesn't need to be a big scary list either, depending on the kind of day you're having. Just pick the three main things you wanna get done that day and focus on them, and then it's not so overwhelming. Which brings me to my 10th and final tip, baby steps. If you, like me, get a bit overwhelmed by the day ahead or the magnitude of the task at hand, then it really, really helps to break things down into smaller, manageable bits. For example, I'm writing a book at the moment. Have I mentioned I'm writing a book? Also, I broke my leg and I'm Irish. 
not sure I've said. Um, <laughs> I wake up every single day and my brain kicks into action and goes, oh my God, I have to write a book. That's so many words. How am I ever gonna do that? That's too many things, ah. And then it shuts down completely and refuses to do anything, which isn't massively productive, to be honest. So I just tell it, shh, that's okay. We don't have to write a book today. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna open the laptop and just see what that looks like. We might feel like writing a new word, maybe a new sentence, maybe a new paragraph. Who knows? But there's no pressure. We'll just start small and see what happens. And before you know it, you're writing. But you have to ease yourself into it. Be kind to yourself, okay? That was my big takeaway for this whole video. Be kind to yourself. Start your day the nicest way you possibly can. And that's it. Those are my 10 magic ways to start your day. Please do let me know if these tips help and also maybe leave a comment with your own tips and tricks so we can all benefit from one another's collective wisdom. Thank you once again to Tropicana for sponsoring this video and for providing me with lots of tasty juice. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.